is called The Tale of Hurley from the work Marabou Nordless by Robert Smith III. There once lived a big fish, a swordfish to be exact, who went by the name of Hurley. Hurley was the name of the big swordfish to be exact. Hurley had a shine. Hurley had a sparkle and glow. Hurley was smarter than all the other fish. Hurley was the most gifted fish ever known. Anyway, one day Hurley was out journeying when he came across a great blue whale. While he was out journeying and the blue whale was made up of many, many blue diamonds. Far too many diamonds to count. These were also magical sparkling diamonds. And the blue whale mentioned that his name was Wally and told Hurley that there would be great treasure forevermore if Hurley would decide to go with Wally. And go with Wally, Hurley did, as they did swim fast through the seas. And when they came to a stop where Wally and Hurley stopped, Wally and Hurley were surely pleased. For there lay a great mansion there at the bottom of the seas with treasure far too much to count there at the bottom of the seas. And this treasure was magical, quite a magical treasure indeed. And Hurley followed Wally happily forevermore wherever Wally would go in the seas. The tale of Hurley. The story right there is called The Tale of Hurley from the work Marabou Norless by Robert Smith III.